This is the most common body type. It's 46% of women have a straight shape or rectangular shaped body. So I wanna share what I've learned over the last 16 years of styling hundreds of women, every body shape and body type, and I wanna share that with you to help you feel amazing in what you wear. Someone with a rectangular shape or a straight shape has even proportions with their bust, their waist, and their hips, or almost exactly the same. So it gives the appearance of having a rectangular shaped body or a straight body along the sides. Typically this body type is more on the slimmer side and they tend to not be as curvy. However, there are some rectangular shapes that do have more of a fuller bust and more of a fuller bottom, but what makes them a rectangular shape is that their waist is also in proportion. It's almost in line with their bust and their hips so that their body still looks like a rectangular shape. So Victoria Beckham is one of my favorite celebrities for her style. I just love her style. I love the risks she takes, but I also love that her style is classic and a little bit edgy and minimal. But this first look from Victoria Beckham, I think could be better. You'll see here, she's wearing an oversized suit, which really does nothing for her frame, for her body. It just accentuates how straight she is and that she doesn't have any curves. It's not fitted. Now, when you compare that last look with this look here, it's like night and day different. So in this look, she's also wearing a pantsuit. However, it's much more tailored to her body. It's more fitted to her body. So we actually see her shape more. It's actually more defined and she doesn't, it doesn't overwhelm her. I feel like that last look where she's wearing that oversized blazer and that oversized pants, they can really overwhelm your frame. If you're lacking curves and you'd like to bring some curves in, stay away from pieces that are oversized because they will just swallow you up. Now, same idea here. So in this look, again, she's wearing a dress. It's a all over printed dress, which this type can generally do. This, a straight body type or rectangular shaped body type, they can get away with a lot more than pretty much any other body shape. But you'll see here again, it's oversized. It's too big for her frame. It's just kind of swallowing her up. Now, when you compare that to this look, which is very similar, again, it's an overall print, but it's fitted to her body it actually, it looks completely different. She looks completely different. And I feel like something that's more tailored to her body is much more flattering for this body type. Now in this next look, I think this works beautifully for her. I think she can, because again, you're, if you're a straight shape, you can add curves by fabric. So her blouse or her top, I don't think it's a blouse. I think it's more of a structured kind of button up shirt but there's more structure in the shoulders. It's a, it looks like it's a heavier fabric, so that adds more width up top. But then she also has a pleated skirt, so there's again a lot more fabric on the bottom, which adds width on the bottom, but then she's accentuating her waist. So she's giving herself these natural curves, and it just works beautifully. And here's another example of the same thing here. So this is a dress that she's wearing, and again, her waist is drawn in, but because there's more, the, the structure on the shoulders comes out a little bit, it makes that area look wider, and then the skirt part of the dress on the bottom also comes out. There's more fabric there, so it makes her hips look wider. And again, with the waist accentuated, drawn in, it just, it gives her, this silhouette gives her natural curves that otherwise a rectangular shape may not have. And then this last look that she's wearing, I think, again, this dress is perfect for this body type. So doing a halter top, halter tops were great on smaller busted women. They are just, that they are made for that size busts. And because this dress is fitted, it really just beautifully shows her silhouette. And the next famous rectangle shaped body is Kendall Jenner. So this first look, while I personally, I don't love this outfit, it works for her straight shape. Because of all that fabric on the hip area, it accentuates the hips, it makes the hips look wider. And that really works for somebody that is not curvy. And she's also drawing attention up by having the slit in the bust area. So I think this, again, this silhouette works for this body type really well. And this next look may be one of my favorites of Kendall's of all time. I feel like this outfit is perfect for a rectangular shaped body. So she has the crop top to show the waist off and you know, it looks more narrow because the crop top, it's more puffy. The sleeves are puffy. It's adding width up top. So she looks wider on the top, but seeing her skin and her waistline, it's, it's almost the same as wearing a belt. It's defined. And wearing a high-waisted wide leg pant gives the illusion of a wider bottom, which again, works beautifully when you're trying to add curves to an outfit. Now, one of the things that a straight shape 
can struggle with sometimes if they want to appear more feminine and end up looking more boyish. I feel like this next look from Kendall for her definitely makes her look more boyish. And part of that is she's wearing a structured button up shirt, which feels much more masculine. And while I think this type of shirt works beautifully on someone who is a little bit more busty on top, if you don't have curves, a button up shirt doesn't always look feminine if that's what you're going for. So if you have a straight shape and you want to appear like you have more curves or look more feminine, look for details like ruffles or softness in fabric. Look for, you know, things like silk will lay better on the body and will just make it look more flowy and more feminine. And also draw the attention up by showing off your collarbone in your tops. I think that really helps show more femininity in your outfits. Now in this next look, this is probably my least favorite outfit of Kendall's that I've ever seen. So she's wearing a shapeless dress, which again, if you're looking to create curves or give your body more definition, wearing something without any shape with in this drapey fabric, it isn't really flattering. It's also the collar comes so high up, her arms are covered, her legs are covered, and it's this color that isn't it, it just kind of, she just, her body disappears basically. So I wish this was a different color. I wish there was more of a lower neckline. I wish there was more definition in the waist. Maybe the bottom half was, you know, like more fabric or more ruffle details or pleated details, but I just don't think this works well on a straight shape. Now, when you compare that last look to this look of Kendall's, I think this is the perfect outfit for a straight shape. Her waist is defined in this dress. The dress is, it's a mini dress and there's pleats in the skirt. So it billows and gives her the look of a wider bottom. And even though we're not seeing much skin up top, because the structure of the dress and the shoulders, it kind of comes out more. It gives that illusion of width and a bigger bust up top. And that helps just really balance and give dimension and shape and curves to an otherwise straight body. And the next celebrity I'm gonna share who is a rectangle shape is Gigi Hadid. So here she's wearing pleated pants. And again, I think this body type can get away with a lot. So pleated pants look amazing on somebody who has a straight shape because it's adding dimension. It's adding width to your body. The wide leg pants do just that. They make you look wider. So they're wider on the bottom, but her waist is still accentuated. And then it has a paper bag, which then widens the waist a little bit, but it works again, because this body shape can add fabric in a lot of different areas and it still looks really flattering. And same idea here, she's wearing the skirt. There's so much extra fabric, but it works beautifully on a straight or rectangle shape. All that extra fabric just gives the illusion of a wider hips, a wider bottom, especially when the waist is accentuated. It really just gives the illusion of adding curves. Now in this next look of Gigi's, this is not one of my favorites. Again, this goes back to what we we're talking about earlier with Victoria Beckham's oversized look. She's, Gigi here is wearing an oversized outfit. Everything's oversized, there's no shape to it. And again, while this may fit her personal style, that's kind of not what we're talking about here. I'm talking more about what silhouettes are going to work best for this body shape. So I'm just showing you this as an example. So wearing something oversized like she's wearing here doesn't accentuate any part of the body. It doesn't, it just makes her look wider in all areas, but it still makes her look like she has a rectangle shape. So it's really not flattering. Now, when you compare that last look to the look she's wearing here, again, it's a super casual look, but it's a crop top, which again, works great for a straight shape because it helps define the waist when you see a little bit of skin in your mid section. Again, it almost works like a belt. And I think the bagginess of the jeans really balances out nicely with the crop top and that defined waist. So again, if you're more of a straight shape, but you would like to add more curves or the illusion of curves to your body when you're dressing, think about clothes or ways that you can accentuate the waist, but then you're looking for extra fabric in the shoulder area to widen the shoulders and also extra fabric in the hip area to widen the hips. And that will give the illusion of curves. Now, if you don't have a rectangle body shape, but you wanna learn the styling do's and don'ts for your body shape, go ahead and watch this playlist here where I share all the different body shapes and the styling do's and don'ts for each one. So I hope this was helpful. And if it was, make sure to click that subscribe button for new style videos every Thursday. Have a great week and I'll see you soon.